Welcome back guys to the channel. This is The Daily Dose and for today we will be doing a restoration and customization of this awesome 172 scale diecast car from Epoch. Uh, this is a Mitsubishi Galant GTO. We don't see this car quite often in smaller scale and even in bigger scale I don't see this car a lot. So I found this one at a thrift shop and uh, I will be restoring this, repainting this and highlighting some details. So I hope you will enjoy this and before we proceed with our video please leave a like and also subscribe okay so as you see here is the interior of the car I don't like the military green color of the interior so I'll be doing a white color for this and detailing the seats and the steering wheel and also repainting the base so pretty straightforward in disassembling uh, the interior here from the base so this is made of plastic all in all the wheels similar uh, style as the Hot Wheels wheel so pretty familiar with that but for this it is glued so we will just take this one out an easy job really if you have uh, the proper tools like the exacto knife so here's the base I'll be repainting that one gold and for the uh, interior it is black so for the bumpers the headlights front and back uh, they are just glued here so get easy fix uh, I'll just remove uh, the material that's holding them and I'll be re-gluing them back once we are done with our uh, paint job for the front I'll be repainting that gold the grills will be black again So I have polished this one using only my steel brush as you can see right here. Uh, it has done a pretty good job and we will do the primer right now. So first we will prime the interior again. Uh, I'll be using the gray primer. Uh, the paint I'm, I'm using by the way, water base, everything is water base for the primer to the uh, base coat. But one problem that I see is that my top coat is made for automo automotive paint. So I will show you later on uh, the scenario that happened once I painted that one or uh, applied top coat to my uh, water-based acrylic uh, paint. So this is primarily the paint that I'll be using for the base and the front and rear bumpers. So this is the Vallejo uh, Old Gold. So again, this is water-based acrylic paint. And as you can see, it looks good. By the way, these paints are mostly used for Warhammer and Gundam plastic model kits, but they do look good. Uh, in diecast cars in my opinion by the way so it looks good on the base as you see I, I really kind of like that one it's like a uh, I don't know man it's like a jewelry of some sort it 
for the base I will apply thin coats and probably uh, for this two to three coats only not per really particular with uh, too much detailing on the base so I just like to give them a little color for this So for the body, I am using the Vallejo Water Base Acrylic Paint uh, Gun Metal Gray. So the consistency of this uh, one out of the bottle is a little bit thick. So I thin it down with a little water and applied four coats to the body. So thin coats, this is uh, the actually the first coat for this so thin coats and uh, be patient because yeah I thin this one quite well so I'll just put on here what I learned uh, from the priming process and the top coat process so I hope you will learn from this and uh yeah learn from uh, from my mistakes so that you won't uh ruin your paint and your uh, cars by the way so the primer kind of looks like white already so i'll be leaving it as is and i'll just be painting the seats red and the steering wheel black for this so as you can see the vallejo red uh is a thin paint and yeah it is good maybe that's why they made this so that uh, you'll be able to do layering so uh, for this i'll just be applying uh, different coats so i'll just wait for the paint to dry that is this is a quick drying paint and i'll be probably applying three coats of this one so same with the steering wheel i guess So there you go, this is our uh, restoration and slight customization right here of the Mitsubishi Galant GTO. As you can see, I made some mistakes. So the putty I put on the top was not sanded properly. There you go, there is a mark right there. <laughs> so for uh, added details, which I didn't show, I just added some details right here on the side window panels is that what they called uh, painted in silver use using a sharpie for the signal lights I painted it silver with a sharpie and then painted it orange because my orange marker would not uh, stick or adhere to the uh, paint so applying sharpie to that makes it possible for the orange paint to uh, adhere then added details on the doorknob right there I kept the uh, color of the rims stock because I don't want to mess with that uh, yeah that is plastic so I don't have something that would clean that one up if ever I made a mistake so as is it still looks good uh, yeah, you can see the interior there's some slight smudges right here on the door panel on the uh, passenger side since this is left hand drive so again some mistakes uh, yeah I'm still pretty new but I hope you enjoy this one guys and I hope you will watch my journey in diecast car restoration and modification so how would you rate this one if you rate this from 1 to 10 give me your honest uh, review your honest rating of this and I hope I will be 
I will improve on our future customizations and uh, restorations. Again, this is my first time for this year. First time using an airbrush. <laughs> so I hope you will learn from my mistakes. And again, this is the Daily Dose. I hope you enjoy this. Please subscribe, give a like, and uh, see you on our next episode. Thank you guys for watching. And I will be gladly doing some more restorations and customs, not just diecast cars. I, I will be also doing uh, custom bikes also so please do <laughs> uh, watch out for that so thank you again god bless everyone bye bye